Hi, my name is Bob Mead and I am a head and neck cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in late 2011 and went through surgery followed by chemo and radiation in 2012. One of the days when I was receiving radiation treatment of uh, 33 treatments, five days a week, one of the days I was lying on the table and thought to myself, there has to be something you can do with these masks. Um, I saw dozens of them every day when I went into the treatment room and it just kind of horrified me that they would all end up in a landfill or burned as medical waste. Um, so I went home and like everybody seems to do these days, looked on the internet for uh, radiation masks or immobilization masks and stumbled across something called Courage Unmasked. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization and I am now representing them in Nashville. <clears throat> uh, the idea behind Courage Unmasked, which was founded in Washington DC by two head and neck cancer survivors who are also artists by profession. The idea is to take radiation masks when patients are finished with them, gather them up, distribute them to artists. The artists take them and do their magic, their art work with them, sometimes with, sometimes without the uh, interaction of a patient, of the patient of the mask, and we gather the masks back up when they have become art masks and uh, auction them off, um, have a gallery display, and raise funds for head and neck cancer patients who are having financial difficulties reaching their optimal uh, treatment goals. Um, so in 2012, I had the good luck of meeting Cookie Kirkston and Carol Kanga and going to Washington, D.C. to see where this was founded, um, to see their show there. It was the second show in Washington, D.C. So our show here in Nashville will be the first time it's outside of Washington, D.C. Um, the, to see the artwork in person, because I had seen plenty of uh, photographs, images uh, of the masks. To see the artwork in person is, uh, is really striking to see the full three-dimensional and the full vivid colors of everything. But um, I really admired their thought of taking something that's so scary and traumatic and frightening and uh, you know associated with cancer and turning it around sort of like turning the tables on cancer and turning it into art, turning it into something beautiful or equally scary, um, dramatic, um, inspirational. Um, and it's such a wonderful idea to take something and everybody wins in this situation. The hospital wins, the medical institution, the doctors win, the patients win, the patients with difficulty financially win. The artists win by being more publicized and having a, an artistic challenge to work with. Um, it's just, it's lovely to take something like cancer and turn it around and basically shove it back in cancer's face and say, listen, this is, this is what we did with it. We turned you, we took what you forced us to have and turned it into art. Um, my main motivation for working with Courage Unmasked in Nashville is threefold. The first being to raise awareness about head and neck cancer to the general public, to various medical fields, and the field of dentistry, uh, all of which could use more information about this. The second fold of the, my motivation is to help patients who are having financial trouble uh, meeting their optimal treatment goals um, and to do that through art is just about the most perfect way of doing that that I could think of. The third layer goal of being involved with Courage Unmasked is to reduce the fear and anxiety that patients experience when facing this. Um, by making it a more public uh, issue um, People can gather more information, they can meet other people who have gone through this and be more optimistic and hopeful about their own outcome. 
and an optimistic, hopeful patient is a much better patient than a defeated, pessimistic patient.